Hi guys, I want to do a brief video showing side by side the Christopher Ward Trident Pro, in this case vintage model, um, in 43 millimeter versus the 38 millimeter. I love this watch. I um, love the look of it, the feel of it. It feels very high end to me, very much a quality piece. Um, now, granted, this is the most expensive watch that I own uh, so I guess my basis for comparison is limited however I've yet to be disappointed uh, with the quality of the watch uh, now the one thing that has disappointed me has been the feel of the watch on the wrist um, I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist and I find the 43 slightly large and slightly heavy to wear every day and the 38 uh, slightly small for my wrist. Uh, the weight is fine, it feels very comfortable on the wrist, but when I um, look at it, it just looks disproportional to me. Um, and my conclusion is the height. You know, this is a 600 millimeter diver, and you know, the 38 millimeter model is just a hair under 13 millimeters tall um, but I feel like the height versus the width it just looks disproportional to me especially on the wrist I think if you had a, a smaller wrist you know a six and a half a six inch something like that it would look great uh, much like the 43 looks on you know even my wrist the 43 looks fine it just to me feels a little heavy um, to wear every day but I was doing a lot of looking back and forth online trying to find good comparisons on dimension on weight on on size just to see um, what wrist these would really fit well and a lot of what I read did say the 38 millimeter just felt too small for a diver felt too small for a a seven inch plus wrist but there was the the few reviews out there that did say you know a seven inch wrist it fell and looked fine i just had to try for myself so when i found a vintage come up for sale i, I bought it and i had to know i love the watch enough i i want to keep the watch i don't know if i will um keep it uh because i feel like I, if i could get this in a 41 millimeter um that would be ideal uh i feel like that would cut enough of the weight weight down for me to get it maybe in the 160 to 170 gram range um, where it would feel a little more comfortable on the wrist it would feel a little smaller on the wrist for daily wear um, so let me show you what these look like here real quick starting with the 43 I feel like the 43 looks fine on the wrist I mean it doesn't look it's gonna be let me see if I can give you a little bit better idea here it doesn't look to me um, too big on my wrist. Seven and a quarter inch wrist, 43 millimeter. I feel like it looks fine. It looks good. I feel like it, uh, you know, a 41, 43. I don't think I'd go any larger than a 43 just for my personal taste. Um, but I feel like it looks fine. But just when I wear it every day, uh, you can feel the weight. Um, the 43 with two links removed weighs 191.77 grams. This one, 191.77 grams, which is a fairly heavy watch. I mean, it's up there with the the Oris Aquas in weight, um, Planet Ocean in weight, um, and it feels good. It feels, you know, you feel the chunk of metal on your wrist, but I just and maybe I'm being too picky. I know it's all it's all my opinion and personal preference. I just, you know, wish it was somewhere in the, you know, for a watch like this, maybe in the 160 to 170 range uh, to get that everyday comfort. Um, the band tapers from 22 down to 18 at the clasp. It's a very comfortable bracelet. I love the, the flat black dial against the matte black bezel. I love the golden uh, uh, loom on the hands against the black. It just looks, it's a great looking watch. Um, so I may end up keeping this just because I, 
I love the way it looks. And I certainly can deal with the way it feels. I guess I'm just saying that if Christopher Ward had a 41, I feel like they would be hitting it out of the park for a lot of guys because um, I guess I've complained on the forums and some of the Facebook groups a little bit about how I wish it was a 41 and I'm not the only one out there that feels that way, although there's plenty of guys that don't have any issue with the 43. The other issue I do have is with the crown. Um, this edge, to me, is very sharp. If you run your finger over it like that, um, it feels very scratchy. And when I first got the watch, it was very uncomfortable. I don't know if the crown kind of wore, you know, that sharpness just wore away ever so slightly to make it a little more comfortable, or I just became used to it. Um, but it doesn't bother me as much as it used to. I do have, I've seen people post online, uh, you know, their, their, uh, little, uh, crown, uh, marks on their wrists from their crown digging in, uh, with this watch. So I know I'm not the only one that having that issue. I know in the new style, Christopher Ward with the logo over at the nine o'clock, they did redesign the crown. So it does taper a little bit towards the end and I think it's a little smoother. So that should eliminate that issue, but then you've got to deal with that awkwardly placed logo at 9 o'clock. Anyway, I don't want to get off topic about the logo because that's a whole other conversation. The 38 millimeter, uh, this one has one link removed. I don't know if the band is, I'm assuming the band is a little shorter uh, right off the bat. Um, because I only needed one link removed on this one to get it to fit comfortably. Um... And with one link removed, this watch weighs 163.54 grams, which is a very comfortable weight for me. You know, it feels fine on the wrist. Um, the weight doesn't bother me at all. I think the size, you know, probably plays into that. So I think if you could get, you know, a 41 millimeter, um, that could be around this weight. I don't know what you could do to cut that weight, though, I guess. You know, I think the case is probably pretty heavy duty to get that 600 meter water resistance. So maybe there's, you know, nothing you really can do. Although going from the 38 being uh, 163 to the 43 being 191, that sounds like a 41 should come in somewhere around the 175 to 180 gram range, which wouldn't be terrible. Um, that's what my Seiko Samurai weighed, and uh, I never, it was a heavy watch, but the weight never bothered me. I feel like the combination of the size of that watch, along with the comfortable crown, um, all work together to make the weight a little less noticeable. But anyway, here's the 38 on my wrist. Um, to me, that just looks too small. I mean, it can work for some guys if the size doesn't bother you. That could definitely work. It doesn't look bad. It just, in my preference, looks small. You know, there's a lot of wrist uh, still there. Um, you know, the lugs are sticking out, but there's still a lot of my wrist still going out past the lugs. It doesn't taper around my wrist with the lugs. Um, to me, I feel like the bracelet looks a little wide compared to the case, uh, making the case look fairly stubby to me as well and again for the width of the watch versus the height on the wrist it almost feels you know like kind of a stack of quarters on my wrist is how I was imagining it um, so yeah to me I think if maybe never having had the 43 uh, just going straight to this one it may be a little more doable but um, just feels disproportional to me and again this is all my opinion and, and personal preference everybody's different everybody's gonna like a little different feel on the wrist but I just wanted to make this video to show what it looks like on the wrist and give you my thoughts on uh, on dimension and and things like that so um, put these here side by side and I'll give you the rundown on the on the measurements. So the 43 millimeter Christopher Ward uh, does in fact have a 43 millimeter case width. 
Uh, when you include the crown, you're at 47.22 millimeters. So it is a pretty wide watch with the crown. Uh, height is 13.57 millimeters. And lug to lug, you're at 51.4 millimeters. So it's a pretty pretty wide watch. I think if you 7 inch wrist on up, you have no problem with this watch. If you like big watches, you could probably you know get away with even a six and a half or six and three quarter inch wrist uh, and still not have it look too too large on you. But I feel like it it fits my wrist fine uh, with a seven and a quarter. It's just my personal preference. Uh, it gets a little heavy for me. Uh, it has a 22 millimeter lug width, as I mentioned, and at the clasp tapers to 18 millimeters with the weight being 191.77 grams with two links removed. Now the 38 millimeter measures 38 and a quarter um, wide at the case. By my measurements, when you throw in the crown, you're a hair under 42 millimeters. So it's about five millimeters proportional to the 43, uh, narrower in width than the 43 with the crown. Height, just under 13 millimeters, so roughly half to 0.6 millimeters um, shorter than the 43 millimeter. And lug to lug, you're at 45 and a quarter millimeters. Now the uh, bracelet on here is a 20 millimeter bracelet tapering down to 18 at the clasp, so you don't get the same amount of taper which I feel like it could it could have benefited from a little more taper to me uh, looks like it's not quite in focus here to me um, that taper is barely noticeable and I feel like that would help make the watch feel a little more proportional on the wrist maybe that 20 to 16 or 20 to 17 something like that um, and then lastly I think I mentioned this earlier in the video this is uh, 163 0.54 grams and that's with one link removed so hopefully this video helps anyone on the fence um, you know with maybe a seven inch wrist do I go 38 do I go 43 I would say in my personal opinion if the if you love the watch um, and you have a seven inch wrist I would say go with the 43 on up um, if you're at seven, I feel like it is borderline. To me, I had to know myself. Um, I feel like even my wrist was a quarter inch smaller, that this watch would still look a little small in 38. Um, anything under seven, I feel like you could definitely pull off the 38 uh, much more manageably than I could. Um, it is a comfortable weight at this at this size. The weight doesn't bother me. The crown doesn't bother me. Uh, that extra five millimeters in width does make enough difference there. So I'll probably be putting this watch up for sale here shortly. Um, every time I try it on, it just it just doesn't look right to me on my wrist. And, and probably part of that is skewed by, you know, having owned the larger one and, and seeing that size on my wrist. So uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, keep in mind it's all my opinion. So if you like smaller watches, then by all means, um, go for the 38. I don't think you can go wrong with this watch. I bought both of these secondhand uh, gently. This one was barely worn at all. It still had most of the stickers on the bracelet. This one was lightly worn um, at very good pricing. Uh, I know you can buy them used. I'm sorry. You can buy them new from Christopher Ward during some of their sales. I believe there's a Father's Day sale that they do, I've heard. So that's coming up here next month. You might be able to get some more good deals around that time. Um, but I think it's a great watch for the price. I think they're around eight to nine hundred dollars. Um, with the discounts, they're usually in the five to six hundred dollar range. Use they can be had somewhere in the four fifty to six hundred dollar range. Um, I think at that price point, it's a great watch. Um, I wouldn't have any trouble paying the eight to nine hundred dollars for it. I think the quality definitely justifies the price. However, I'm thrifty, and knowing that they have these things on sale quite often, uh, it seems like 
semi-annually to quarterly, I would try to wait or try and find a good deal on a used one um, just to save the money because then you're getting a, an even better deal on a great quality watch. So I would definitely recommend the watch. I haven't had any issues with them so far. Um, this one keeps about plus eight to nine seconds a day. I would like to see that be a little less, but I guess that's not terrible. This one in the short time I've owned it seems like it's about plus six seconds a day. Um, so you really can't complain about that. Um, maybe I'm just being too picky with, with automatic watches. Um, you know, I usually wear them a few days in a row to a week or so in a row. So, I mean, even over the course of a week at nine seconds a day, it's barely going to be off very much. Um, so, hopefully I didn't ramble too much. Hopefully this video helps somebody out there. Um, and uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.